sure. So I can Episode turn darkness one. points of view on and off, can't I? It's just come on now on side. I pressed a button. He's all drawing. Maybe. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Echoes from the past. Voices speaking about the important task ahead. Captain Lakashares. The Tsurabi colony has sent us a distress call and we are part of the response team. What we expect to find after the jump to the Ta to Tawan is not clear. Well, you've all heard the message. We are being escorted by a Legion destroyer, the Zafira, and we make the jump immediately after her. Colonial agent Nafika continues. The Tsurabi colony is a gas mine orbiting the system's largest planet, the gas giant Tawan. About 300 colonists, mainly miners, plus a few scientists. Since we're going in blind, no orders have been issued. Sensor sweeps will tell us more when we get there. The captain again. All non-essential personnel, personnel are to go on ice immediately and sleep their way to Homura. The icons are with us. The deckhand smiles in the bed next to you and the traveler keeps watch from the bridge as we jump. See you in Tawan. Sleep tight. So, you are aboard the Ghazali ship. It used to be a, a cruise liner, a uh, space cruise liner. Retired a long time ago. It's it's basic um it's all been uh, converted and hastily like thrown together uh so you can jump to the tawan system to respond to a distress call you are currently in your stasis pods aboard the ghazali your ship um the rocket hound is safely stowed in the in the hangar bay <coughs> and you you are woken in a in a haze of the dream state, but also an ever so slight annoying noise. Is that some kind of alarm? And then your eyes flutter open in your stasis pods. And you hear an alarm. Red lights are flashing. And your stasis pods begin to open. Now you can tell from the fact that your your brain is foggy that this is not the correct procedure for waking up from stasis. You 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 should be you should be feeling refreshed. You shouldn't be feeling foggy and confused and your memories are a bit of a blur at the moment. So you wake up in your stasis pods. Alarm lights are flashing. Alarm sounds are blaring. What do you do? Are we dressed? What are we wearing? You you are in your stasis underwear. Can we open the pods? Your pods all open. Tumbling to the floor. Yeah. yeah. Well, we stagger out. Um. Closed. Closed. You. You kind of you stagger out of your pods. Um, a couple of you feel quite nauseous. Uh, you feel like vomiting more than anything. Uh, this is the infamous thawing nausea. Uh, you look around. And there's, besides the cold floor in here, there's just stacks of stasis pods. Um, most of them are open. With inhabitants or clo um, empty? Is there more people with us than just us? You look around confused and you look in some of the stasis pods and you see quite a few corpses. What also, also in? in their stasis underwear. So you said most of them are open. So I presume there's a couple closed. Well, a few closed. Yeah. 
some of them some of them have failed to open but there are people there it seems to be people inside who are also dead just, the only other thing in this room is a spiral staircase okay just as five survived then the rest are dead looks like it uh in the stasis uh from the stasis pods do we have like a compartment where we were to store our clothes or there is a locker box in each uh at the at the foot of each of your stasis pods um through your brain fog you are able to your, your fingers kind of more than anything remember the the codes for the lockers and they they open and you pull your gear on however there are no weapons in uh the with a quartermaster on the bridge and the staircase is the only exit staircase is the only exit from here you are on the bottom you're on the worst possible part of this ship um bottom of the bottom. The, literally the belly of the beast um the only thing that's in here is metal and rubber there's it's very very basic there's no kind of luxuries in this room Weekly kettle class. Yes. You what? Yes, kettle class. Yeah. yeah. You were done with the steerage. Do we hear any other sort of footsteps, or is it just the five of us who are sort of conscious and? Uh... Uh, the only sound is the hum of the ship, but every so often there is this weird. Um. Sarah notices it more than anyone as, as the most seasoned pilot here. This strange, like occasionally this vibration is almost imperceptible, but you can feel it through through the floor. Like a turbulence. Like a, like a weird shake of the ship. What can we smell? Is there any kind of obvious uh, the, fire or atmosphere? Or... There's a strange metallic smell that you can't Put your finger on. Okay. We all grab an the thief in me. What? Yeah, I mean, I'll yeah. jump out of my um, chamber thing, open my locker, grab my. Well, I'm going to assume my basic gear is going to be in there. My my general like clothes and wear, and um, yes, yeah, start getting ready basically. It it takes it takes you a moment to like get get your um your limbs working again. You're all like frozen and stiff, mm. uh, squinting even at the faint light. And it is a faint light. It's hard to see in here. So I guess we get dressed and make our way upstairs. Unless anybody wants to rifle through the other gear chests, if it's worth it. No. They're all no, cold locked. We... Yeah, they're. All the weapons were taken to the uh, with the quartermaster. So on the can Robin all the other crewmates already, Sarah? You scumbag! <laughs> Women, Women X, Sarah has a type and she <laughs> plays it. Come on. <laughs> can't, no, no, I'm a complete finisher. I can't leave any chest unopened in a game. It's not. So the grave robber. Got to go into every room. These, these are all. These are all. They're all, they're all rescue workers. You're, you're actually one of the very few people on the ship getting paid to do this. But they're dead, so. Waste not one thought. Okay. So <laughs> We're the, the station, everything's recycled. The solid green. The, the bodies um, that you see in the in the stasis pods, uh, they're all clutching the the talismans of their icons, which is a uh, it's like it's a tradition for the space furrows. It's a bit grim. I think we should leave as soon as possible. One of you must must have s smuggled a weapon. Yeah, I'll just get it out of my prison wallet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I left my other. Uh, I left my clown's pocket back at home. Yeah. Do we even know each other? Smuggle the blaster up my asshole. <laughs> <laughs> His space cigarettes are up there too. So. I've got a weapon. Okay, give me an infiltration test. Good choice, 
<laughs> Bad roll though, Dylan. All fails. <laughs> Hang on, do I get a point for that? Let me have a look. No. No. Oh. No. <laughs> no. Can, is it just so, Dill that can have a crack, or is it anybody? Or... Um, the most likely ones. So, the assassin will probably be carrying a knife. Or maybe not. Maybe you got frisked and uh, you got found out. Do you want to pray to the icons and give me another point? I mean, maybe get another mm -hmm. six. What do I, so the... There's a button underneath that says pray to the icons. But do I do a plus one or plus two or eight like that? I just press zero. Nope. Just click it. Just you get what you get. Should I be seeing an unpaused game screen? or? Yes. Thank you, Dylan. Well, I mean, oh... You failed. <laughs> I mean, oh no, Brian. <laughs> you get. Uh, you were not able. You were not able to smuggle uh, anything on. Any budgies. Did somebody ask about the corpses? Uh, how, long, yeah. how, how old do they look? How long have they been dead? Can you tell? I know it's space in the void. And, mind you, it's not a void, is it? Because it's an atmosphere. Um, they, they're not long dead because the red <clears throat> blisters on their faces are still fresh. Red blisters? Could we mm -hmm. in, in, have a look around the pods and see if we can... If somebody has a medic... If anybody has medicurgy... Uh, give me a roll. I don't think anyone does. Oh no, I took it out. I was going to have some of No. Oh well. Never mind. I Nobody? think we get up the stairs and find out when we're going to explode. No, I'm a technician. It's not my job to heal people. Well, it's nobody's job to heal people. Okay. I'm not, I'm not a skin technician. I am a technician of machines. Oh, can I point to you and be like, can you check out these pods and see uh, why they failed? Yeah, maybe I investigate the pods to see why the that some of them haven't released and why why people would be dead in the pods that haven't been released. That's very odd. Okay. Um, which one are you? Are you C.T. Joseph Mendy? Okay. That is me. Uh, you can give me a technology roll. Ooh, te technology. Spicy. Where's technology? There we go. And just at zero, right? Mm -hmm. There we go. Moderate success. So you um, you go delving into this into the sides of these spot pods. Um, like you actually rip, you make you you break into the like the control panel. And you physically open it up and you find that the cables, uh, some of the cables, have been melted. Okay. And as you make your way around all the pods, you find that all of them, the cables have literally melted. And the metal, so the metal in very, the, the cable inside, the wire has actually snapped and broken. That's unusual. Okay, I, I relay that to the group and say that's that's abnormal. You know, you wouldn't expect that's some level of heat just to just to melt the cables. Nothing. Is there anything else around the cables melted or sh shows signs of like heat damage or anything? Other than the other than the bodies, no. Really weird. Okay. Us. Are we on a different circuit? Or are our pods all in the same place? Do you want to check your own pods, Greg? Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, uh, you you've got to do that for comparison, right? You look at your own pods, and you find that these have also melted, but because you got two successes, I can tell you that the wires inside haven't snapped, and there's there's only one reason, the the conclusion that you're coming to now, and is that it's radiation. Plot armor. Oh. Some, some radiation burst has hit the ship, or must have hit the ship, and because you're in the belly of the ship, um, it's probably why you've survived, and it hasn't burnt all the way through your um, all okay. the connections that keep that kept you uh, with going. concerns about radiation. Would we have, or would I know where there might be radiation 
suit, like hazmat style suits on the ship. You're not familiar with the Ghazali. I mean, you just oh, okay. you, you landed. Passengers. Yeah, because it's yeah. an emergency. You but you literally just landed, dropped your stuff, and got went into stasis. Okay. Okay, so be it. Then we we fly blind, so to speak, and find out what's what. Get back to the. Uh, we need to get to the Rocket Hound and get off it. I think. Uh, I yeah. suspect that might be the um, best course of action. Yeah. Um, above you, you see a brighter light that shines from the, the top of the staircase. Let's go. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll poke my head out ever so slightly out of the uh, top of the stairwell and just sort of see what's going on up there. Not fully jump out, but just sort of obs uh, observe the um, corridor above us. Uh, the, it's not a corridor, it is yet more stasis pods. And any survivors, or are they all just flatlined? Are you going to check them out? I'll go up to the one nearest to me, and I'll signal everyone to come up with me. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll check out the pods. Yeah, guess we all you find up there. Look. The, the same, it's the same scene, only worse, because everybody in here is dead. It's just bodies in each and each and every one of these stasis pods. Oh no, Brian. Is there no radiation meters anyway? You'd think they'd be carrying personal. You might have some in your gear, or... This is why we're professionals, and they are dead. Has anybody <laughs> got, has anybody got data gin? Uh, no, I've got I a point, a singular point, yeah. I've got some. Uh, whoever's got the highest data gin, give me a roll on it. Try mine, I've got two, unless anyone's got three. I think that's you then, Sarah. Um, yeah. Love it. You're not going to push it? <laughs> nope, but I'm going to let Craig have a go. Did you Ooh. say we don't have our stuff? You have your stuff, but you don't have your weapons. Oh, I've got you... an environment yes. scanner. Okay. Uh, can, I, can I use that? That's not a weapon. What does it? it what does it do? Scan the surroundings and report any presence of dangerous chemicals, biological threats, or radiation. Wow. Plus okay. Two to survival and spot <laughs> environmental threats. I think you can click on the item itself and it automatically calculates your rolls. Uh, I'm clicking and it's not doing anything. Let me see. Items... <laughs> so, you're equipping it, I'm guessing. Alright, is that what I need to do? Let's unequip your uh, thing. Are you going to equip your exo shell? Which is... Yeah. It's a, yes, it's a suit. Right. Okay. Yeah. And the other things as well. Okay, so environmental scanner. Can you click? Can you not click it? Click it. Oh, it just tells me what it does. Oh, okay. So you do a survival roll, uh, but you do a plus two modifier on it. So when it comes up modifier, you give it a plus two. Oh, right. So survival the think... plus two. Yeah. Once it's equipped, you can probably click nice. it. Nice. Critical success. Ah, nice. There yeah. is. There are. Lower levels, but very considerable levels still uh, of radiation all around. Jess, we get move on then. Who was uh, doing the uh, other thing? Was it was Craig going to roll a data gin? A data gin. Don't need to though if he knows what the radiation is. I've got it. And I tell mm -hmm. everyone else to get their exoskeletons, exoshells equipped, and get them on like pressure button or whatever. Everyone's got do. one. The the a big yeah. difference between this game and D and D is that you control the narrative, so you didn't you don't need to ask me to do anything. You can just do it, and then if I think it involves a role, then we'll involve a role. Just but roll generally, roll. you yeah. you control the narrative. Not everyone's got an exosuit. I don't think I've not. No. Got one. Well, that's a shame for you, oh. isn't it? If you've got one, <laughs> put it on. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'm gonna put my uh, heavy armor on because I've got that. Fuck you, peasants! <laughs> <laughs> I have no armor, but I think radiation put things on your chest. Which is a good, good thing for you women having armor. <laughs> Men get it too. We need, we need to move back to the rocket uh, hand as possible. Or risk radiation oh. exposure, which is a problem in this game, isn't it? Where the, the safe you know, 
this bit. Yeah. Oh, uh, I was thinking, you know how... Yeah. Oh, sorry, on. Can I have that medic courage? That, sorry, the data gin brawler, anyway. You can, my friend. Uh, when I find it, there we go. Uh, you are... Your friend missed it, but you are fully aware that these old ships should be equipped with not rudimentary AI, but there should be a terminal somewhere where you can communicate with the ship's AI. Okay, I'm going to immediately start searching for that once I've got my exosuit on. Well, uh, uh, Craig's doing that. Yeah, oh, sorry. Uh, no, you no, know no, how in every, every single like cruise line at any building, there's like a... Um, emergency exit map and things like that or in case of emergency please use your exits is there any sort of map nearby in the uh, cryogen sort of hall um not on this size. level exit this way yeah well, we know no, which way we walked in because we we walked into the ship so we know the route out back to the rocket hound yeah that's true <sighs> we need to get to the hold because Craig found the data terminal on this level. Yeah. Do we not want to grab some weapons? Carry on and see where we go. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Are you? Are you? I mean, it's it's like you're in a, a tube at the moment. You can only go up. Are you going to carry on up? The only way is up. Yep. Yeah. The only way is up. Uh, would anybody like? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> would anybody like to try try and fashion a weapon out of something? Yes. Because that is a thing. Um, I'll, gi I'll give you some prompts now and again because you might not mm -hmm. know how it works. But yeah. Okay, so from the pods, um, from the pods, is there any sort of? Um, like metal piping or yes. um yes i will i would like to try um wiggle the pipes off and you know try to give makeshift um bets but just metal pipes really uh so, okay uh, if, if, anybody who's going to try and rip pipes from the wall give me a force test but do, oh, do it slowly yeah. so i can keep up with you so rough I okay i'll go uh, there's no because I have my heavy armor. Is there no modifier given to that? Because I am pulling with more weight, or is that a nap? Is it an exo suit you got? Um, no, it's just a heavy armor. Uh, no. Okay, just a straight. Fuss. Uh, no, but I. Would you like to push it? Yeah, fuck it. Why not? Yes. More Did DPs. He He's gonna do bad things to us. It's fine. It's fine. No, I rolled you know, six. He can't. He, he don't get a dark point. You put your foot against the wall and you really like go to town on this pipe and you pull it from the wall, and you now have a pipe. I'll just turn around and try and put the like. Hmm? Look, I have a pipe now. Uh, so you have a pipe, which means that you get. Oh, why have I closed it? Damn it! Uh, you. So it's a closer. It's a club, basically, uh, and you get a beer gear beer bonus. <laughs> gear beer bonus. Beer bonus. Beer bonus. Plus one. And well, weapon we damage get a beer one. Bonus. I'm drinking at 10 in the morning. How <laughs> oh, that's going Inspiration. on? Here, can I try and use my communication system and see if I can get anybody on channel 16? Um, what communicator is it you've got? Communicating system 5B, whatever V. Oh. Ooh. So it's quite, it looks like a good one. The strongest communicator available reaching anywhere within a system with the delay times that comes with it, of course. The signal travels at the speed of light. I decide on the, the delay times. I'm not going for that one, though. I've got other... Oh, is that... The... I just have to use that one. I can't use the other ones, like short range. Oh, no, it, that, that's the range. It, 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 you can communicate with anyone. Right. But that's the range yeah. of it, so, yeah, that's really good. Yeah. 
just like mayday, mayday, uh, on the emergency. Well, uh, this is what you get back. We don't know where we are, basically. We're in the black. We're in the dark. So that's going quite far then, isn't it? There's nobody. Even the bridge or anything's responding then, no? There's no response from anyone. Yeah. That's shocking. So I have a, I have a tool, which I'm assuming is like a magic screwdriver. Um, can I use that to get... Uh, pipes off the wall, easy. Magic the screwdriver. <laughs> Magic one. Magic one. This is a multi tool. Okay. What tool is it? Tool has a saw. Uh, just a tool. Multi tool for all kinds of ordinary repairs, as long as the proper spare parts are available, gives no bonus, but are necessary for the repairs. Sonic screwdriver. That's what I'm thinking of. Um. I mean, it says you don't you don't get a bonus, but I should be able to use it to cut something out of the wall, like a pipe. Okay then, um, you are a, okay. You can get a plus one to your force. Okay. Roll. Still gonna fail. Oh. You su you lim limitedly succeed, um, which is still a success. You are able to get a, a pipe from the wall. Very sturdy pipe. Same stats as Shardy's. Okay. <clears throat> Not that it would do any good, because I'm a weak ass pilot, but hey. Any and part in a storm? Are we moving up? So I think we're on mute. Are we making... Uh, Me? I'm going to ask for uh, some aid from Shardia and Sarah in order to get my weapon. I want them both to uh, smash one of these pods up so I can get some shards of glass. You... Uh, so the, the, the way that help works is that whatever the player is asking you to help with, you need to have at least a one in that skill to help. And only one person can do it. Only one person. Okay. Who's, who's strong? So I don't what? have force. I've got one force. You've both got one force. I, ha I have zero force. Alright. It's me! Um, well, so I, I, I can assist Dylan. Do I need at least one point in force? Yeah. Uh, is, it a, is it an advanced skill? No, it's general. No, it's a oh, general. It's general. No, you don't. All right. It's only advanced ones that you need one point in. But the one helping you needs to have a one in any of them. Yeah, she's so sure she's got a uh, force. Um, so you can do a plus one. What's your character's name, Shadia? Sure, yeah. uh, it was Bingus, but that was just because I want to see if Peter noticed. Um, <laughs> it's Ivor. <laughs> Ivor. Ivor Biggin. Yeah. <laughs> Ivor Biggin. That's, that's what it's going to be. Ivor Biggin. There we go. What's your character called, Dylan? Blaze. Blaze. I'll uh, assist Blaze in getting his knife and his uh, makeshift knives. I think you roll, Dill, but you do a plus one. Do I roll? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you roll it, but it's plus one. Oh no. Push, push. Ah. Oh no. <laughs> Those darkness points are racking up. <laughs> so because we, because Dill failed, does that mean um, that we suffer a consequence or does it mean it just not work? Or is that up to your discretion? Is I'm good. In order for something really bad to happen to you, it would have to be. It would have to come from me. So I would decide when that would happen, and I have to spend one of these darkness points, 
which I need to save for certain things. I can't just go, and you die, and you die, and you die. Well, it doesn't work like that, but for a negative event to happen and spend a darkness point, I don't want to spaff them all like all the time because it'll get tedious. But it's good to have a, a nice pool. What would you like to do? Have I found any way to tap into the system's um, AR yet and communicate? I mean, you're, you're still delving in the in the stasis chambers. Are you just going to keep climbing out? until you're out, or yeah, are you going to search yeah, we, room by room? We've got to go up. I think we've got to go up and see if we can I think find do a someone. quick scan room by room, see if there's out different. But otherwise, yeah, get moving. Yeah. Yeah, knowing that there's radiation, it's time to get the get the fuck out of here. Back to the rocket hound, and off we go. Is it not the witch's tip? Because that's what somebody's called it on the uh, on the foundry. Oh no! <laughs> oh, no. they have. Someone, someone very cleverly has done that, and I approve. <laughs> How? Oh, I see. We obviously want the ship to be very successful because we're giving it such a momentous name. Oh, anyone can change it, by the way. <laughs> this is going to be fun. There's books and data pads that describe the witch's tits from, from our ancestors in the distant <laughs> past. Lucky name. <laughs> it's, in, it's in the Bible. It should be titty witchy, not, not witch titty. <laughs> Got lost in translation over the years. <laughs> <laughs> the itty bitty titty committee. <laughs> oh, you should have called it the itty bitty titty witch, itty titty bitty ship. Let's change it. Yeah. yeah. Titty bit face. <laughs> titty bit <laughs> face. <laughs> anyway, yes, we're going up the stairs. We're looking for anything that might look slightly different from the stasis pods. Okay. Assuming so, everyone's showing signs of radiation. Um, I shall I just assume that you're it. climbing all the way up? Yes, yeah, we're climbing all the way up. <laughs> I, can't, I can't wait for you. I can't wait for you to reach a station. <laughs> and identify yourselves <laughs> as the, the itty bitty it, itty titty bitty shippy oh, crazy sounds can't wait <laughs> oh, it's good to be back <laughs> oh anyway so we make our way out of the um, the, uh, the um, cryostasis bay okay so you you reach the top of this of this staircase that winds through all the stasis uh, rooms, um, and it is corridors leading off in various directions. There's no signage. Hmm. But we've been on the ship before, haven't we? This is your first time on this ship. But we walked down into the stasis bay. We weren't asleep when we went into the stasis bay, were we? So we know the way back to the Rocket Hound. Yeah, probably. At the top of the at the top of the final staircase is uh, like a smooth black uh, surface on the on the wall that you would normally put your hand on to speak to the AI. Are you going to put your hand on it? Yeah. Who's putting the hand on it? <laughs> I'll, I'll do it. <laughs> what are you doing? Nothing. <laughs> are you are you drawing on the? I'm doing nothing. Nothing. No. That doesn't no. sound like nothing. <laughs> I like that one. Yeah. <laughs> well, <she's one> <sighs> anyway, I will press the AI communicator thing. Does it do anything? Nothing happens. <clears throat> I will pull out my multi-tool, um, the magic screwdriver, and um, 
see if I can see why it isn't working. I want to analyze what's wrong with it, see if there's blatant damage to it, whether there's anything localized that might be broken, or whether the overall system might be broken. Okay, so what do you roll for that? Technology, baby. Ooh. At least I assume. Well, does it give you a plus one or something? Uh, um, it's up to you, isn't it? With the oh, it gives me plus one to technology. Yeah, actually, for repairs. Uh, to be fair, it does say providing spare parts are available if if I'm repairing something. There's I'm really, I really just want to analyze it first to work out whether yeah. it's blatantly damaged. So we're just going to say flat technology for that. No, you can use the tool. Obviously, you have to pry it from the wall somehow. Okay. Two successes. Um, there is a break in the main data wire. Is it a okay. radiation burn again? Yes, quite a, li quite a lot of these cables are melted, but they're still, they should be able to still carry a signal, but one of them is, is, is cut, melted. Okay. How much, how much do we want to know what's going on? How much do we just want to leave? I gr I'm going to grab that wire, pull it to try and see if there's any slack. And try fuse it back to you know where the break is and fuse it back together basically. Using Sarah. Right. Sarah. Sarah. Sorry. Yes. There is that shaking on the ship again. Nobody else notices, but you you put your hand on the wall <clears> and you can just feel this like it just like a shake like the entire ship. Just like the imperceptibly. And then it stops again. Any change in duration or just or frequency? Uh, you can roll observation or you can forget you asked me that question. Can I not roll technology? No, because it's observation, isn't it? No, it's observation. Um. La, la, la. Guys, this ship's not making the right noise. I think we need to leave as quick as possible. What do you mean it's not making the right noise? It sounds like a ship to me. Can you not feel that? Can you not feel the engine quaking like it's going to explode? Nope. Okay. How do you do feel, feel the feel engine quaking the like it's going to explode? <laughs> yeah. It's like innuendo bingo, this. <laughs> I feel a quake. Um, I, 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 I think we need to consider, if people want to explore the ship, we need to consider splitting the party, potentially, because I'm guessing, are there, are there like, free flight procedures for taking off? Is what pre flight specific? Like, if we went to the Rocket Hound, do we need to do stuff before it can, or can we just yeah. go in and say we're taking off? Yeah, you have to release docking clamps, you have to spool up the engines, you have to open the hangar bay doors, you have to decompress the hangar bay. So if people want to go explore, that's fine. But I'm going to the, I'm going to the hold. But do we oh, not? Get the... just... Sarah has left the game. <laughs> <laughs> I just want weapons. We that's might find them on point. the way. Um, there's no there's no markers of anything though, is there? That's that's the difficult part. Craig, are you going to try yeah. and fix this wire? Or are you just going to? I am. On? Yeah, I'm going to pull it and see if there's any slack and see if I can fuse the two wires back together where the break is and see if that. Gets the terminal working. Um, so af after a moment, you twist the wires together, and it slow it starts up like this old fashioned boot sequence where there's like text scrolling across the screen where it's loading things. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then, oh, I've got a noise for that. Perfect. <laughs> the SS honking knocks. <laughs> I don't know. That was me. <laughs> that sounds like a Kiwi thing. Uh, so the name. the terminal finishes booting, and you hear a voice, and it says, "Hello, I'm Suleiman. How can I help you today?" Uh, uh, I say, "Hello, I am Chief Technician Joseph Mendy, passenger aboard. What's the ship called again? The one we're, we're aboard? Gazali." The Ghazali. He says, uh, can you provide me a, a damage situation report, please? Um, he says, he says, I'm sorry, 
I cannot access the ship's manifest right now. It, Joseph looks to the others like, the AI should always have access to the ship's manifest. This is weird. Can it, can it tell us why the thing's failed? What, where the radiation's coming from? Because it should have those logs, surely. He says, the Ghazali detected a powerful EM pulse just after the portal, uh, portal jump. Did we make it to our <clears throat> destination? Say that again. Are we in the right, are we in the right system? Did we make it to our destination? Uh, he says, we are currently in the Hamad system. Joseph looks at you, Cleo, <laughs> like, where are we? I like, I don't know. Is that, is that where we're supposed to be? Sorry, I might have missed that. I didn't write note. It's, um, it's in the uh, Taiwan system. Sorry, not Hamad, Hamura. Hamura system. It is one system away from the Taiwan system, which is your destination. Okay, why did we drop out of portal here? A powerful EM pulse was detected at the portal shortly after our jump. What's the AI called again, Peter? Again, oh, sorry, I'm not quite catching. Suleiman. It. Suleiman. He says, um, he Suleiman, says, can you tell me how many active life forms are on the ship living? He says, "Hello, my name's Suleiman. Hello." My, my my name's Su Suleiman. Hmm. I punch it. I've seen Event Horizon. I know all this shit goes. <laughs> yeah. You're punching it. <laughs> mm-hmm. The screen you know, goes like off. Somebody... Thanks. Oh, it just... That's it. Where do we see people saying, by the way? Okay, Suleiman. Play, play on the ship, bit. On, on Honk, SS Honkin' Nox. They're each ah. character's there with their name and their role. I see. It, you're talking to a blank screen now. I mean, um, Joseph just punches Ivor in the shoulder like, you fucking brutish idiot. <laughs> it works with the coffee machine. <laughs> hey, I, Ivor is your commanding officer, you know. Doesn't mean she's not a brutish idiot. <laughs> what would you like to do? Um... um... I, I, so now that you've ruined our only form of info, intel that we had, um, I, I think we make our way to the rocket hound. Uh, could the, so logically speaking, Peter, could the rocket hound make a further system jump, or is it just too far for a ship of that size? If we were to kind of undock and try and make the rest of the journey, you, um, I mean you. You're not familiar with every system, so without access to your navigational uh, logs, mm. you probably won't be able to figure that out until you get to your ship. I think we go to the ship first and then assess our situation. <clears throat> and if well, we should need we to, should we not go to the go brig in. and get our weapons first, quickly? I think Just that's a good idea. He yeah. and, he, and he turns back to Tatty Hattie and says, "Where's the brig?" Uh. Oh, oh, I'm a scout. I should have a rough idea, shouldn't I? I'll scout it out. Um... Do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pull out one of my prox. I'm gonna pull out my proximity sensor, which I I've got this vision in my head. It's like the scanner the Marines use in Alien. You know, like that. <laughs> and you can just see stuff coming towards you. And like, and I'm gonna turn it on um, to active mode. So uh, it says this mode covers extreme range. It does say in open terrain and forests generally. Um, what item is it's, this? It's it's a proximity sensor. What's it sensing? It allows me up. to test technology to find hidden things in my surrounding. So I get plus two. To, to finding hidden things, so I'm gonna have it out as we go around, just yeah, looking for stuff hidden, basically. Yeah, yeah, I like it. I'm going, going the way to... to the brig, though, won't we? It's not going to tell me where the brig is, but it might help me find something that's hidden in if we go into random rooms and stuff. So I'm just going to keep you... it active. You go to switch it on, mm -hmm. and it powers down. Fuck Again. you with your EMP shit. Oh dear. 
Right, I think we should just start opening doors and having a look. I think we should just start scrapping with Peter. He's a bad man. Deserve nothing less. <laughs> and got on the bad ears. Yeah. So, here's a question, Peter. We're all familiar with the uh, sort of ship interiors, but has any one of us ever been on sort of a cruise liner ship and has the general sort of gist of, okay, well, the um, captain's quarters would be at the top. Where would the, the quartermaster's uh, quarters would be somewhere, I imagine, close to that. Would we have a rough idea of uh, the sort of layout of such a cruise liner? This ship specifically was built before you were even born. And in fact, it was retired before you were even born. So the modern, the modern cruise ships uh, are nothing like this. Um, you, went, you, went on a, you went on a cruise to, uh, to the Mira system with your mum and dad when you were a kid. And that, this looks nothing like that. I mean, this is made of metal. What? What are modern ships made of? Um, they're made of a composite plastic alloy. Okay. That explains the, why that, because, you know, made of metal to me or you, that seems fairly normal, Peter, you know? Yeah. So, okay. <clears throat> as, as, you, as you're standing there discussing this... No, thank you. The screen boots up again. And, and it he... says... And it says, Hello, my name's Suleiman. How can I help? Okay, Suleiman. Um, Play Back in Black on Spotify. <laughs> <laughs> and so that was the was the uh, the bridge, bridge, whatever it's called. Quartermaster. Uh, yeah, quartermasters. Unit. Uh, so you got. So you want, uh, you so you, you want to get to the bridge, right? That's what that's where your your stuff is. Um, yeah. yeah. And I have a data gin roll from someone. Does anyone have that? Because I don't. I have it, but I can't roll. What were, we, what were we rolling for? Sorry, I didn't catch that. A uh, data gin. Um, no, it's not. I have it, but it's not one of my best stats. I can't roll at the moment, but computer roll for me. Uh, yeah. Oh, which one are you? Cleo. You keep changing names, everybody. Is it? Are you Cleo? Yes, yeah. you are. Uh, oh, she's got plus two. Oof. Fail. Would you like to roll again? You mean push it? Yes. Push it real good. Go on. For fun. Bloody mm hell. -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, so... <sighs> the first the first thing that the screen shows is a map of the ship. So bear with me. While I move some things around, close your character sheet. Uh, the screen displays a map of the ship. Sarah's still loading in. There she goes. You are currently here. Um, before anybody can say anything, Suleiman says, the Ghazali's propulsion systems are offline. The Ghazali is currently unmaneuverable. Hmm. He says. Can we ask if there's any. Oh. The Ghazali the, the Ghazali escape pods are functional. Can we ask if there's been any breaches in the hull at all, or are any of the locks open? Uh, your roll was too shit. So he says. <laughs> no more questions, please. 
Yeah. <laughs> the screen explodes in your face. No. Um, you take a critical damage. He says, I'm sorry, I've lost connection to my database. Rebooting. And he goes, boom, and powers down. Boom, 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 boom. The window's too in place. <laughs> and then after a, second, after a few seconds, it's like, din, 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 din. <laughs> din, 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 din. <laughs> uh, and the screen powers back on. And he says, hello, I'm Suleiman. How can I help you? He blue screens with a little sad face and says, something seems to have gone wrong. <laughs> Where's the um, rocket hound? Is it in the cargo hangar or in the main dock? Or in the docks? He says, I'm sorry, I currently don't have access to the ship's manifest. We should know that, though, because we walked from there. We parked it and then walked to the stasis pod, I'm assuming. Um, yeah, I mean, you can probably find your way to it. But which one is it, the main dock or the dock? Or the uh, the docks. Wait, where's the main dock? You've got main dock, which is the big one, and then the... Uh, main dock you will be. So the docks on the side are... So there's two they types like of docks. There's the, the landy landy ones where you fly your ship inside. And then there's the basically portholes with a, with a with an airlock. So those those are the ones on the side the, with the airlocks. And then the, this is the actual hangar. That's the word. And is it the bridge or the brig that has the weapons? The bridge. So I guess we go there next. Yeah, yeah. It's a long old way though. Yeah. If you think we've gone up four or five floors just to get out the stasis pods, this is a very big ship, isn't it? As you're thinking and discussing, uh, oh, we're not. We're the, a red <laughs> a red border appears around his screen, and he says, "Alert! The ship is currently drifting towards the Hamura Star. It will reach the D zone in T minus eighteen hours." Right, fuck that noise. Okay. Let's go looking for our ship. Yep. We're getting out yeah. of here. Yeah. Is there a lift? <clears throat> not, every we've got, well, here's a question. Should we prep the ship first? Because it is 18 hours. So we prep the ship, and if we got time, let's grab our shit and go. What about one team go to prep it, and one team go and grab the stuff? Is that not uh... That's a, Yeah, that's an idea, but do we need the whole team to prep the ship? For the, um, do, Suleiman says, Dear passengers, a number of other passengers have been detected alive in the med lab, lighting your way. And a yellow strip lights on the floor, like pop, 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 and just kind of runs right down the corridor. Suleiman, you absolute G. Let's go. Let's follow it. Why? Because, you know, other people are alive. Mm. And they're near the bridge, actually. So well, in, uh, to be fair, he never said anywhere. people, he just said passengers, so fuck knows what we yeah, might go across. He said passengers, he didn't say people who weren't passengers that boarded hostilely after sourcing us out of the Well, boat. exactly, but you know, yeah. only one way to find out. <laughs> and one of, them, one of them might have access to stuff that we might need. And we want to test the combat system, so let's go. Yeah, color <laughs> the lights. Right. Where are you heading to? Medlab? Med, med, uh, med lab, yeah. Mid lab. Mid pipes? Or do we do bridge first? Because it's kind of on the way. Oh, lab. let's go to mid lab. Because if one of them is the captain, they've got access to. I can only assume that when the EMP went off, somebody. We were in stasis, but somebody had to be awake for it, didn't they? Yeah. So they'll, they'll know what the hell happened, so let's go see him. So you're heading for the med lab? Yes. Yep. Okay. So, uh, I'm guessing you're following the strip, right? The yellow strip. Sure. Following the yellow strip road. <laughs> uh, let's have a pee break. Oh, that'd be wonderful. Uh, Sounds good. Isn't that a drink break? Yeah. 
calling a bastard. <laughs> Stop trying to break me while Stop I'm trying performing. trying to make you just giggle, yeah. It's just entertaining, isn't it? You like it so far? Seems alright. I think, you know, people... Once we settle in a bit more to, like, this is what you can and can't do and how far you can dictate your own stuff, then I think that'll be better. Because this is an intro uh, adventure, it's kind of railroady to a certain yeah, extent. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of it depends on your roles, like a hell of a lot. It, it depends We've got on a lot it quite of a lot more than... as well. I think you know, from right. in terms of like we we could do with a Drax character almost, just somebody who's fairly strong who can just be like, right, okay, I can do that's, it. That's that. Shardia's character. Is it? Yeah. That sound then we're all right. I take it back. <laughs> I mean, none of you have massive amounts of strength. Um, Don't need to be strong in space, just smart. Yeah. You've got everything you need, really. Smart. Yep. I figured about ordering a Steam Deck. Do it. Mm, I keep looking at it like, oh my god. Oh, she said do it and then left. I mean, that's all the encouragement I needed, to be honest, Peter. It's a sign. It is a sign. Welcome back, Chadia. Oh, I think I've once. Are you eating something? Mm-hmm. All right. I don't need you. Oh, sorry, I'm eating... What are these called? Pornados. Cock meat sandwich. Pornados. Tornadoes, did you say? Tornadoes. Tornadoes. Stop setting the alarm off, Peter. Got more. Alarm! Alarm! Actually, the alarm has changed. We've got more. In minutes, I keep hearing it. My mom's like, what's that noise? I'm like, oh, never mind. It's just my laptop. <laughs> Can you imagine being stuck with that for 18 hours until you exploded? It just died. <laughs> oh, like At that point, I though. think I'd welcome death. Yeah. <laughs> just, just like, you know what? I'm, 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 I'm okay. <laughs> Or can I just say that the crisps here are so much better than back home? You know what? Really? Fuck you, you turncoat. Flying around the world <laughs> and abandoning us for three months. Fuck you. you bloody sunshine. Go away. It's going to be 28 next week. Oh my god. Listen, be, it's Shardia, it's no, 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 do, you know, do you know what the real answer is? Nobody fucking asked! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you're going to hear about it anyway. You've got to. You've got to entertain me. I brought I brought shit for you guys, and you are gonna have it, and you're gonna like it. You brought the shit, sir. Did you say? Uh, I'm, I'm... No. What did you no. say? I feel like you I said you I brought, brought shit. the shit. So I'm a little worried. Is your um your bowel I'll movements okay, it. hon? No, no, no. I brought like um chips and sweets oh, and stuff for you guys. Was... Okay. Yeah. I can't call them Chris here because they just take the piss out of me. I what, do they win. not call them crisps in New Zealand? No, they're chips. Weirdos. Fucking American language. You're the only place in the world that calls them crisps. I think, if anything, you're the outliners here. Well, a chip is certainly not that. It's a deep-fried potato goodness. Deep-fried yeah, potatoes. Yeah, just because I agree with you. Listen, it's either it's either conform or get the piss taken out of you. And I Well, then, I'm conform. sorry, but you're just going to have to put up with it. No, that sounds like a new problem. What's happening here? <laughs> Would you want your bag of Greg's... New Zealand sweets? I'm just saying, she has to put up with having the piss taken out of her calling them crisps, because that is correct. I, can't... I cannot win. I can't win in this country. Listen, we didn't country. conquer the world four centuries ago for you to go there and start calling it bloody chips. 
Just we didn't wrong. vote for Brexit to call it chips. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Shardy, how dare you? I'm going to go really red in the face there. and have a stroke in a minute. Like, just it's how dare crazy. you? Craig's sense of humour. <laughs> how fucking dare you? Like a cheese grater. Sometimes it goes up, sometimes it goes down. <laughs> just, just, um, we you know. How dare you? How dare you? So everywhere else in the world, nah, I don't accept that. I reckon somewhere else it... Where? Call. Oh, he's Googling it. Chris. Yep. So who's Tetty Hetty? That's Megan. That's Potato chips. French fried potatoes. I tell you what I have been to. I've been to a beer garden with a wood oven fire. Holy shit, it's a game changer. It's so good. With a what, sorry? Uh, a wood oven uh, pizza fire. Oh, okay. Nice. Wood pizza oven. I'm, I'm a bit drunk. Wood fired oven. Pizza. Yeah, that's it. Pizza. Pizza wood oh, pizza oven fire. In... Yeah. Pizza got in oven. Come out hot. Inth oven. Inth oven. Is everybody back here? Megan's not back. Is Dylan back? I know he never puts his camera on anymore. I wonder why. Oh, I got COVID for Christmas. It sucked. Oh, uh, my boss at work got oh. COVID. I've it's so it bad. So far, you were so Are lucky. You I got it. I feel a lot better. But when I had it, like Christmas Day, I could not get out of bed. It was literally just get up, roll out, eat a bit of food, go back to sleep because you can't do sweet FA. Were you just like knackered all the time? Oh shit, yeah, I was exhausted, and it, you have no appetite, and you want to keep drinking, and but you get, like, back pain real bad, or I did, so you're just like, fuck, this sucks, and then the first day I was, like, able to breathe out my nose and taste things, I was like, oh my god, I'm so happy to be alive. It's so different for, like, almost everybody. This, oh, it, shit, like, yeah. the, everything seems to vary massively for uh, from person to person. We also um, sort of figured out where I got it from um, because we went to um, – there's a big Christmas lights display. Like, some bloke does up his house and puts on – like, it's absolutely massive. It gets, like, maybe 100 people an hour, mm -hmm. and there are a bunch of kids walking around with, like, face masks on, but they had them halfway down their face. I was like, oh, you fuckers have COVID or something. And so I got it from there. Damn children. Too many, too many um, people in one place, I guess. Yeah, like it was, it was great fun. The lights were amazing, but I was like, mm. Let's do it. Is everybody back? You're back. So. Uh, <clears throat> you okay? So you begin making your way towards the med lab. Can I have? observation uh, roles from everyone. Even if you got nothing in them? I need to remember if it's an advanced. It's not. Is it advanced? No. Uh, yeah, even if you have nothing in them. Watch it, right? Observation. Nice. Wow, on two dice you got two sixes. That's it for tonight now. That's, yeah. nice that's all your good rolls. Time. You spent, Dill. Yeah. Uh, so, has everybody rolled? Yes. So, uh, do, do, do. Dylan Craig and Megan's characters, You as you, as you walk down the uh, a corridor you see on the wall what appears to be like three p 
parallel running lines etched into the metal uh, wall. Like a claw mark? You could say that. Or some kind of scratch. Hmm. Are they all evenly spaced? All the way um, it, they, they seem to like randomly start and stop. And then after a few moments they're gone again. Uh, you round the corner and you approach a large intersection in the ship. And at this intersection is a very large screen set into the wall, and in front of it is a uh, projector. Holographic projector. What's it projecting onto the screen right now, Pia? It's off at the moment. Hmm. Let's turn it on. Uh, you put the hand on you put you put your hand on the screen to activate it and a sparse and kind of vague image of uh, a man appears and he says hi i'm suleiman how can i help is there what's in the med bay can we ask him he says certainly in the med bay are a number of survivors how many approximately eight and definitely survivors are there any other life signs anywhere Give me, uh, have you got data gin? I do. Give me data gin. Uh, find my character sheet now, hold on. Is there a quick way to my character sheet, a shortcut I should be using rather than going through the menus? I mean, it's it's in the top top right. You just click the actors and then. Yeah. Is that too slow? Yeah. Okay, I, I don't know of any... Maybe there is a... Data gen, did you say? Yes. Not like in this system. Failure rate's well high. It is like high, isn't it? You want to push it? I'm not the only one with data gen. Just push it. Go for it. You're the best one with okay. data gen, though. Push it real good. You're our data genie. Uh, do I just roll it again and get a plus one on it? Underneath, uh, on the on the, in the chat, underneath the Pretty dice. The icons. Yeah. Do you get a plus for it at all, or is it just? Uh, no. Nope. So... If anything, it's a what minus because it takes your sixes away. What would be a modifier then? What would give you a modifier? Boom. Boom. <laughs> uh, a modifier would be maybe your talents because no one's used the talents yet. Or if it was your icon, your actual talent icon. Uh, in your case, it wouldn't be. That wouldn't work for me. But all right, I think somebody had a re-roll or an automatic critical or something like that. Uh, what was your question again? Um, are there any other life signs on the ship? Is it just a bit in the med bay? He says, internal sensors detect 47 additional life forms on board. Although, there might be more. Okay. Where? He says, pushing it, but... he, he says, good news. I have re-established connection to my database. According to the ship's manifest, there were 200 rescue workers on board. And there's eight plus us left? Uh, no, there's eight plus you plus another 47. Okay, where are Life the forms. He says, scattered around the ship. Any more congregations anywhere? Large pockets? He says, there are no life signs on the bridge. There are possible life signs in the chapel. However, the chapel has been cut off from the rest of the ship. Bye. 
there are no sensor connections to the chapel. Please note, escape pods and ships are not powerful enough to escape the gravitational pull of the Hamura star. Not asking Sulu on this, but is the rocket hound? Is the rocket hound what? Strong enough, or is it not? If the Ghazali is not strong enough. Okay. So we're screwed. Don't we've got to realign. Then we've got to ship... maybe send out a distress signal or something using the Ghazali. And hopefully someone comes to our aid within the 18 hours. Otherwise, we're fucked! Well, I suggest we what, carry what? on and get to the med lab. Yeah. Seems logical, I think. I mean, that's our known, uh, at least where we know there is survivors. If we're sending out a distress signal, can I, I can do that off my communication thing, can I? I would imagine that's got... Like Only a... within this system, though, right? And you got nothing back when you first tried, but I assume the Ghazali can at least send something a little further. I mean, Perhaps, yeah. Craig, Craig, you would probably know that the radiation would block most weaker comms devices. But the, the comms device from the ship itself would be decent though, right? Maybe. You would expect. You would. Right. That was going to be in bridge then, isn't it? Suleiman Man says... The Suleiman Man says... I would like some strips for your destinations. And uh, two lights light up red and green. Okay, which one leads where, silly man? Tell us. Talk to me, Terry Tibbs. Red leads to main dock. Green leads to bridge. Oh, we're going to the med bay. Is the yellow one still active? Yellow one's still active. We're determined to stay together, aren't we? I mean. Yeah. That just strikes me as logical more than anything. Okay. Yeah. I've seen too many horror movies. Yeah, yeah. go on your own and shit go south real quick. <laughs> you know? And yeah, uh, let's not Scooby Do we have a token black guy on the crew? Because, you know, let's make sure he's in the middle at all times. We want to make sure he's safe. Because, again, <laughs> I've seen too many horror movies. There's definitely no virgins, so that'll be alright. That's all right then, yeah, yeah. Don't know what you mean. Med, med Bay, keep going. Any more questions? Yep. Suleiman has some we work. Let me know. So if any MP pulled us out. Um, we don't know if it's hostile or not, but I'm assuming it is if it pulled us out. What's hostile, sorry? <laughs> Someone putting the MP of a ship going into a portal is definitely hostile action, isn't it? Do you know oh, what? Hang question. on a minute. Suleiman. Can you light the way to the armory? <laughs> the armory is in the bridge. The bridge it is then, guys. I think let's, lab. let's get something to defend ourselves. Listen, we still don't know whether any whoever's in the med lab is actually friendly. I agree. Uh-huh. Right, Rich. Let's, yeah, let's go get our... um. Boomsticks, and then we're all good. Boomsticks. Any other questions? Oh, I had one for Suleiman. Um, Suleiman, is the... Which part of the uh, Ghazali is offline? Uh, is the steering offline? Is, are the thrusters offline? Or the grav projectors? It says, Propulsion, offline. Uh, steering, offline. All other information is classified. So if we can get the propulsion and steering back on, we can steer our way out of the star. And out the uh, grab yeah. pole. Uh, he says, propulsion systems are offline. Is the Gonzali strong enough if propulsion systems are working to get out of gravitation? I think said strong that. enough. Uh, he says... The Ghazali, on its present trajectory, is unable to escape the gravitational pull. But so it will reach. The trajectory it could. 
it will reach the D field of the sun in approximately 17 hours. Yeah, so we got to get oh, the uh, grab propulsion, the steering. I need to. Up and then I need to just... delete a thing from the. Doop, pop, deleted. Was that what they are? We wrote gravy projectors. That was me. <laughs> <laughs> gravy <laughs> projectors. The gravy. They don't do gravy. Yeah. Don't do gravy. Okay. So bridge med lab. Get the get everything. Check out the bridge. See why. GTFO. Won. Win. Yeah. Yeah. Because our because the the, the <laughs> Mutus McTetus can't um, escape the gravitational pull. <laughs> Oh, we're not better trying to sort the steering out then. Maybe we're better getting survivors. Yeah, we as many survivors. Yeah, because it... let's see who's who's got some skills. Yeah, let's who's got skills to pay the bills and get us out of the D field. Suleiman says, uh, "Good news, short range scanners are online. The nearest safe port is Hammurabi Portal Station. Distance one AD from current position." What's an AD? It's uh, it's the unit of measurement. It's basically twenty four hours. Oh, okay. Fuck it. We can make that in the um, rocket hound. I refuse to call it the Yetus Tetus. But the rocket hound <laughs> can't leave the star's gravitational pull. No, we're still stuck in the gravitational pull. So unless we but change the. What if we the, just try um... really hard? <laughs> mm, <laughs> then this is a one shot. <laughs> you don't want to be rolling blanks on the piloting. Listen. All I'm saying is we try it and then, um, you know, who knows if the faceless one might decide that we can get out of the uh, gravitational pull. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah. Well, uh, we, we, hold on. We, Let's we, go to the bridge and arm ourselves like some badass yes. motherfuckers in Rambo. I want an ammo belt yeah. and everything. And then, the um, <clears throat> and then let's cook some fools. Take it, we can't fit 50 people on our ship, can we? Uh, actually, there is room for 15 people on your ship with the stasis pods. It is, you, you will know that it's not possible to go through a portal without being in stasis. It's the whole people, the whole, the whole reason it exists. Your body will not survive a portal jump without being in stasis. So, um, we don't have pods on, on the rocket helm. You do have pods, no, 15. yes. Fifteen. Oh, uh, fifteen. Oh, okay. place, Additional to you, you've got fifteen. You've also got oh, a garden. Okay. Ooh, nice. garden. Oh, oh nice. very nice. So, can we get the the jumpy thing and put it on our ship? Uh, what jumpy thing? Sorry. Thing that allows you to jump places. The jump portals are huge mega structures built by ancient aliens. Yeah. You, want, it's you, you can't have it in the ship. This isn't Stargate 1. You have to go through it. This is interesting that you say they don't know who built the structures, but you do have to pay to go through them. Someone's well, yeah. So, so the, the reason why you have to pay okay, to go okay. through them... Who's the motherfucker I'm paying to go through then? Someone owns it, right? Someone yeah, you're, pay the you're paying. Uh, there is a name for them. I can't remember it off the top of my head, but they are humans. And they have, um, they're able to calculate the jump coordinates for your destination. Otherwise, you could end up nowhere or everywhere or random places. So, effect so effectively, we're paying the M6 toll road, aren't we? Yep. You're paying for the jump calculations. Well, that's some bullshit right there. That is some bullshit. Right, so we're heading to the uh, bridge. Yep. Let's do it. You're heading no. for the bridge. Why? Why the side, Peter? Come on, positivity. Put your oh, positive. No, I'm, I'm trying. I'm not, I am positive. I'm trying to find it. Du, 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 du. Well, Peter finds that. I shall inform me of a fact I learnt the other day. KFC in New Zealand does not do gravy, but instead gravy and potatoes. Did huh? you see how disgusted my face was by that? Almost <laughs> instantly, just like, what? I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't see it, but I could feel it. And also, you also get a steamed bun, 
with your with your uh, KFC. Do you know what steamed one? Steam I don't know what a steamed steam one would done? taste like. Is that like bread it's that's steamed or is that bread? Is that like a? It is bread that is steamed. It's actually quite sweet. Steam. How do you steam bread? <laughs> that's weird. Well, in a steamer, I don't know the implications. You get the also, eye out, get... and you just press the button really fast. <laughs> Also, you know how like the burgers um, just have lettuce and some sort of sauce on them. Over here, you get a uh, red tomato, you get a uh, tomato and red onion on them. Oh, nice. That's okay. I'm all right with that. That's good. Uh, oh, that's acceptable. Fact, I, 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 I'd go as far as says I'm DTF on that. That's okay. Yeah, but the KFC I've had is inferior to ours. It's <gasps> near. Oh, controversial. But I'll accept burger, that but since the... you you've capitulated on crisps. You know, you've come back around full circle and, and you've made an acceptable statement of our KFC is superior to New Zealand. It is superior. I like, I, I grew up in the north. I like gravy. I don't, why are you putting potato in my gravy? Get out of here. But for the is McDonald's. It so, hang on, is it in the gravy like in a single pot with the potato? Yeah, it's, potato, it's mashed potatoes on top and then a layer of gravy. Denise. That's so bizarre. Yeah, under the I know. What? Hang on, let me find it. That's wrong. I need to get some tissue. My nose is running bare. Oh. oh, also, oh, I've done it to him. Um, also, they do a chicken McMuffin for breakfast over here, and it's amazing. It is literally just chicken, cheese, mayonnaise, and a McMuffin. Careful what you say here. I'm still listening. I'll reverse my decision. <laughs> KFC and that's McDonald's. That's McDonald's. We're on to Ricky Dean's now. Oh, uh, also, you can get frozen cokes everywhere here, and it's wonderful. Frozen what? Frozen, frozen what? Cakes. Frozen coke. Frozen coke. How are you supposed to start that? I mean, <laughs> you mean Coca Cola? Yeah. <laughs> Your bread freeze. <laughs> bread freeze. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think what, what other weird shit I've seen here that we don't get over there. Some. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the obvious. Um, oh yeah, I went to a, a place that specialised in toasties. And I don't know how you feel about this, but I got a ham, cheese and pineapple toasty. Uh, um, uh, yeah, that sounds yeah, alright. Yeah, uh, yeah, do you know what? I, 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 know, I, know, I know it sounds horrible, but it's actually very tasty once you get into it. Yeah, I'm going to make one out tomorrow, actually. You've done it to me, I'm going to make a note. Can not just go soggy? No, because you it's so crisp and fresh that you just go, yum, 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 and it's gone. Okay. <laughs> I'm really hungry now. Can we stop talking about food? Good point. I even wore my, wore my Xenomorph t-shirt, though. Nice. nice. I can only see Sarah and Peter moving his head slightly. That's all yeah. I That's fine. It's just an alien it's in cool. my belly, don't it's very worry. Cool. Yeah. I'd like to see it on a pregnant woman, though. I think that'd be funny. I mean, I'm practically <laughs> the size of a pregnant woman, so, you know, it's probably not too dissimilar <laughs> of what I'm wearing, to be honest. <clears throat> okay, shall we continue? Probably should, I suppose. Yeah. Um, you move down a long corridor. Uh, it's been you've been walking down this corridor for a while, and as you round the corner, you feel the heat first before you turn, and then you see a fire has broken out in the in the module of the corridor in front. Yikes! Is there any fire extinguishers? There are no fire extinguishers here. It's a blatant health and safety breach. What if I spit on it really hard? It Can't says be the more. Only route to... There must be. So, can we go back to the Suleiman and ask for another route to the bridge? And could he not tell there was a fire? Wouldn't they have atmos They'd have systems for putting fires out, wouldn't they? Um. We'd have fire suppression systems on a on a ship. But it's a fire, Peter. It's. I mean, it's in the corridor ahead of you. Whereabouts are we the, now, 
the ceiling the ceiling is i mean you're halfway there probably um right. the ce the ceiling has caved in in that section and there's pipes uh blowing well fire out of them what about the med, um, med lab because that's close to the uh you've not you've not you've not reached it yet you were heading for the bridge weren't you we were yes. but is the okay. is the uh which one's the med lab the yellow line going the same way or is it going a different way because that's close to the bridge so if we actually the, the 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 yellow line went in a different direction a while ago Um, is there any sort of terminal nearby where um, we can shut off whatever's uh, spewing out the pipes? Uh, the terminal is it's just dark. I'll call over the uh, tech nerds to have a look. Uh, this is interesting because... If there's just no response from it, there's not a lot I can, I can... I guess I can inspect it to see if it's just disconnected or whether it's full-on um, broken. Are you prying it from the wall? Yeah, I'll, I'll lever the screen off the wall and check the cake connectors at the back. Um, as you try to pry it from the wall, uh, you hear an unwelcome crack as you look at the screen and you find that it's cracked right down the middle. Yeah, I've probably been a bit heavy-handed there. But you feel slightly better because as you pull it from the wall, you find that all the cables inside are completely melted. Okay, so it wasn't necessarily just me. It was fucked anyway. So you uh, can run through the fire or you can backtrack. Oh, do we... Is it, I'm going to run through the fire. Can we backtrack? Surely there's going to be more than one route to the bridge. It's a big ship. Uh, I I think backtracking is probably the best idea here. Oh. I'll go, oh, and I'll go, okay. That thermostatic suit, does that mean you're resistant to fire damage? That would make sense. You, um... I don't know what suit you mean, sorry. Thermostatic? I don't know. I've never... The exo shell thing. Like... Oh, the exo shell. What does it say? Thermostatic suit. Oh, you've only got the things... Uh... Exo shell. I'm just wondering whether it might be worth looking at the other side of the fire to see if there's any kind of firefighting equipment there. There must be some, you would think. There's no description. The hell? There's also no description. Uh, I'm going to put that down as a no, it doesn't protect you from fire. All right, then. I'm not However, I'm going to spend another DP. Um, suddenly, there is a the hole begins to creak all around you. Run to the med bay! Yeah, run back. Run, back. run, run. run. Um, as you run for the med bay... Let's have an observation, observation or science, whoever wants to roll it. Um, can, can I do, do an observation? Go for it, yeah, go on, go on. As, as many of you as you, as you want. Not observation. Oh, so we could all, oh, no. we could all oh my God. theoretically roll it. Oh my God. Oh. Oh, pray. Sick. Yeah, of course you can. I like the points. Uh, you girls are terrible. Um, oh, oh, system. oh! Got something. Okay. Craig, are you gonna pray? Uh, get down uh, on your knees and pray. <laughs> eh, fuck it. The machine god provides. Let's go for it. There we go. Good use. Oh, nice. The as you begin to run down the corridor, uh, as the bul the the bulkhead behind you begins to twist. Uh, and it's quite obvious to both Greg and Megan that that corridor is about to uh, undergo a rapid disassembly. Uh, Let's get through another lock. The automated systems begin closing the bulkhead door in front of you. I'm going to need a dexterity throw from everyone, except that Craig and Megan get a plus two. Uh, 
modifier. Yeah, baby, oh, yeah! Oh god, I'm gonna need it. Uh, can I use my gambler's talent and can I roll a critical success? Yeah, of course you can. Now would be the time if you got talent. If I pray to the icons, it's going to automatically add your darkness point, isn't it? Yep. Depends on how much you want to live. Oh! He got one, but he, he gets no darkness points. One's fine. One's still a success. Uh, oh, so let me see. Shardia, pass. Dylan, pass. Cleo? I'm guessing that's her. Pass. Megan, pass. Craig? Oh no, Craig. Do something. The fuck? My screen looked like it had passed. That's such a, an annoyance. Okay, I will. I'm, I'm going to do my thing. Why does it roll more dice? You pass. Uh... Okay. So you, um, as the as the door begins to come down fairly fast, you both, uh, most of you, make it through. Uh, Megan is able to use the a bit of battery power from her exosuit to hold the door open for a bit longer, and then Craig kind of last second uh, slides through as she lets go, and as the moment the door hits the deck, you hear a huge explosion behind the door. Okay, that way then. Smooth. That was close. <clears throat> Just another day at the office. Where would you like to go? I mean, there's only one way to go, really. Do you want to back? Do you want to go back to Suleiman, or do you want to go back to where the the yellow light kind of uh, veers off place. in a different direction? Yellow let's light, let's yeah. go with the yellow light. Fuck Suleiman, he's he's bullshit. He's only giving half the information we need. <laughs> it's a broken robot. I thought he was my dog, and in reality, he's just let me down. What can you do? Um, you f you get to the you get to the yellow strip. Uh, are you following it to the med bay? Was it the med bay? Yeah, it was the med bay. Med bay, yeah. Uh, you begin your walk to med bay. Not it's not long after um, you begin your walk, you. Squawk. Squawk. Here, you hear whispering. Like it's, it's getting, it gets a bit dark in the in the corridor where you're walking up ahead, and you you're sure you heard some whispering coming from somewhere. Um, just based on horror movie tactics. Um, like someone's like there's people talking. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hello. Uh, we we were in the cryo chamber. Anybody there? Um, you look down and you see a hand is kind of tapping your foot. Um, out, of the, out of the darkness is a badly burnt hand. And it's alive? Just a hand? Is As it you, it's not, body? yeah, it is. It's attached to a person uh, who is struggling to speak. And he looks like. Will this work? I don't think I've turned the thing on. No, I haven't. I'm going to put it in Discord, sorry. Uh, he looks like... Is this man about to expire? We're about to six. Uh, is a man who is badly burned from radiation, but he's alive. Oh, sweet. Can we oh, carry right. him to the med bay with us? Um, as you try to pick him up, um, he's wearing a. He's wearing, so he's wearing coveralls. So he obviously works on this ship. Uh, he's wearing hangar bay coveralls. Um, he's, he's got his face is pale, his bloodshot eyes, um, burnt skin. Uh, he, he stops you and he says, "There's more," and he points off in, the, off in like a, a side 
corridor. I will walk up to him and, and say, oh, this guy needs some life insurance, and then give him uh, like this injection thing that I've got. Life insurance? Yeah, uh, that's what the soldier slang is. Apparently. Ah, right, okay. So what are you giving him? Uh, and it's called an M dose or something like that, just like a. Ah, M dose. I imagine it'd be like an EpiPen or something. So M dose, a one-use injector for stabilizing wounds or treating poison, disease, or radiation damage, called life insurance or first aid. First aid in soldier slang. Uh. M dose. Okay, so give me a Medicurgy roll with a plus one. Please. Has nobody got a med kit? Oh, I might do. I can't roll it, Peter, because I've not got anything in there. Is that what it says? Yeah. Oh, I've got a med kit. All right, all right. So can you, can you do it? Yeah, I can do it. Um, let's see. This gives a plus two to Medicurgy. Can I give the med kit to Meg who has uh, points in Medicurgy so she I don't gets have plus two? I don't have any points in that. Oh. All right, never mind. I'll, I'll administer it. Um, what help him? Um, I'll give you, give you the EpiPen then. Oh, no, I can't because I don't have the advanced skills to use it. Oh, do I? Uh, oh, yeah, shit. Wait. You need at least oh, the one. Wait, do I have enough... Well, this is terrible. Can we actually our, use our man we just found is dying. Does it anybody have Medicurgy? Nope. nope. Any I'll be honest, I just presumed Meg would want to help everyone and heal everyone, so I didn't uh, want to take it. Do you know, I didn't even realise that was what that was. She's forsaken yeah. everyone. Uh, can I change my numbers? In the next Meg. session, yeah. Meg, right. why have you got to right. do that to us? You've always well, been our kind-hearted healer, and now you've abandoned your faith. Alright, well, can I just stick it in wildly then, or not? Does that work? Or not? Um, you can roll your plus two from the med kit and the plus one from... So just roll uh, three, three D6s. Two, three. Please, 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 please don't kill him. Uh, push, you, Meg, push. The, you can't push this one. Oh no. Um, you okay? I'll let you push because I need the darkness points. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to have this manually. Then. Have you got nine darkness points? What's been going on? Yes. Oh yes, he's safe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you miss the vein on your first shot, and he screams in agony. But with your second shot, you are able to uh, you administer the the M dose, um, and he kind of it goes limp for a second, uh, but then his breathing stabilizes. Um, as he, I'm just gonna as he, to be he begins to recover him. quite quickly. These M doses are good. I'm gonna whisper to him like, "Sorry about that. I missed uh, first aid training." Gonna whisper it to him. That's a bit creepy. Sorry about that. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry, I just stabbed you in the wrong place. <laughs> Sorry, I got you. Anyway, yeah. Oh, so he's looking good. A bit more perky. He says, he says, thank you, my my friends. Uh, uh, what would you like to do? Ask him what he's on about. Uh, what does he say? See, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's not throw the F word around too quickly. He's, <laughs> he's, he says... We're sick. We've been irradiated. You have oh. to help them. You have to. Do I though? <laughs> Shit. Where are they? Where did you last see them? Um, it just it literally points at them, just down the corridor. Are oh, you fucking joking? Um, it's <laughs> it's quite dark. It's quite dark, um, but you do see like five, what well, at first appears to be bodies, kind of leaning against each other. Uh, <laughs> uh, 
looking very healthy. Or... They're, they're barely they're barely conscious. These these guys are like worse off. Uh, here's one of them. God, I love AI so much. I oh, love it. There's one of them here. Um, they're all quite badly burnt. Uh, two of them are vomiting like pretty much continuously. Uh, there's a woman. W O M A N. Uh, How far are we from the uh, mid bay? Um, he's, he says about about an hour's walk. <laughs> Do you think you can oh, make shit. it? Maybe me, but without the M doses, my friends won't make it. Uh, can one of us run on ahead to the mid room and get some M doses? All of us. Or is <laughs> they won't live? Look at the sad faces. Is there not yeah. A, is there not a box of M doses down here on the floor? Can I not use thing? It's a... <laughs> are you are you conjuring? <laughs> are you conjuring oh, M doses? Bottles of them here. Look. Why well, have like well, you been sat in this room and you've had the ability to treat yourselves? I mean, is it not what the um, faceless one is? Yeah, it's coming like ten packs. Yeah, that's yeah. the faceless bag. <laughs> What's in my pocket? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. Oh, I like that one, Dylan. Well played, sir. <laughs> I'm just looking at the this time. This one I made thinking, earlier. I've got to use this this session because it's a waste otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're able to conjure an extra M dose. One. It's one. That's, that's what it says, isn't it? You, you, you conjure a, a thing. A box. box of ten. Yeah, ten pack. They come in a pack. They come in packs of ten, don't they, Peter? Are you going to say, oh, yeah. I, conjure, I conjure a planet full of soldiers? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's what I heard, Peter. A desk of cheese. <laughs> oh, yes, please. <laughs> what kind of units of measurements are these? <laughs> Well, that's why Meg wanted it. She wanted to conjure a desk of cheese. Definitely. <laughs> well, I don't know about you a lot, but I'm sorted for the night. <laughs> I'm going there. to the star happy. <laughs> it did say a box or Peter, so I think you can decide. Okay, fine. Box. There's there's three in the in the box. Damn, the so that's a fucking stingy ass box. You're a stingy DM. <laughs> <laughs> well, they said the box, not a crate. So I'm assuming like a cigar box. I do have well, more doors? In in I've never seen a cigar box, so I don't know. I mean, I'm just assuming there's three in it. How many people is the Peter? The, that seems the Cuban. Fair. The Cuban. <laughs> well, uh, there's, there's five people. Okay, I've got four, so I can use a couple more. I, I, I want to re restart, hopefully. What if we all just use our face one faceless talents and summon a box of... Uh... No, you can only use it once per session for all players. <laughs> we all get one, though. They're individual oh, so talents. That's... The oh, group the talent is, is truth seekers. We are truth seekers. Even though I feel like we should have gone with the pirate one, where we can always f find scumbags wherever we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we we don't need we don't need help with that. We will find them. That's fair. That is fair. So that you can only use that talent once. That, that Dylan's used every the, the the talent for everybody. Then now, if it if it's a general or an icon talent, then it's once per session. Yeah. That's Everybody, person, not individual. or, or individual. in, in, individually. The group one is once for the group per session. Yeah. Oh, right, so so one for the group talent and one for the individual ones, regardless of what everyone else has got on the individual one. Right. So we all could take the conjurer's one and just conjure shit all the time. <laughs> that's what I mean. That's a bit broken. <laughs> 
It doesn't seem bust at all. <laughs> it's, only, it's only broken if I allow boxes of things I was, and crates. Yeah. I, I did save it because I was going to conjure a fire extinguisher when we got to that passage that rolled fire. Oh, yeah. That probably oh, wouldn't have yeah. helped. Oh, yeah. A container of bazookas. <laughs> I'm a parrot. I can I dread after we pass the fire, though, that I'm, I can deal with fire, no problem. I conjure a hammock of cake. <laughs> oh, what a time to be alive. A couple of kegs of beer. Right. <clears throat> Oh, can we give him some 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 stuff? I'll I'll knock another uh, t two doses off then. Yeah. Mm. So you're just gonna save five. two of them? No, because we're gonna use them three as well. That's been conjured. Cheap <laughs> ones. Wow. Okay. Whatever you want. They were there. We didn't conjure them. We were right. right. like... we just there. <laughs> them ones that we found. So lucky. All right. So now that the wizard has conjured the. A six pack of no, a three pack of. Um, what are you going to do with these uh, M doses? Are you going to give them to all five of them? Yeah. yeah. All right. So I'll I'll take your initial roll for the whole group. Um, the second initial roll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah the, the successful one. Yeah. Uh, and it you is. you're able to with a bit more practice now. Uh, you're able to find the veins of, of each one of these uh, poor souls. And you administer the M doses as they slowly begin to recover. What would you like to do? Uh, are they able? Yeah, are they able to stand, Peter? Or are they just booked? Um, it's going to take them a while to recover. Um, whoever's the healthiest, can I put, give them a piggyback and uh, help them to the med bay? Um, yeah, I mean the the healthiest is the the first bloke you came across. Yeah, I'll pick him up because he seems like he knows what's going on. Who else okay. is in this group, Peter? Can we tell who else is uh, like what type of jobs they had? Or uh, b -b 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 yes, they all seem to be wearing different flight suits from different ships. So obviously the the first guy that you found is he works on the ship in the on the on the hangar bay, but the others must be rescue workers from other ships. The hangar bay guy was he he wasn't in he must have been in stasis because he had to be in stasis to go for a portal. They were all in stasis, yeah. Does he know? They must have well, probably. Yeah. Are you gonna ask him? Yeah. What happened? Uh, he's, he says EM explosion caused the pods to open radiation everywhere where were his pods he says the, the lower decks how did he get there uh, crawled Okay. Blast of the mouse. Mind you, if it came out closer, quicker. So he knows his way around the ship. Where was he headed? Where were you headed? Suleiman said the med bay had survivors. There's, there's something, something on this ship. Did you see the scratches? Did. Know what it is? He says, "No, I've never seen them before today." So he's seen what it looks like. What can you describe it? He says, "I didn't see. I've just seen the scratches, but I think." And somebody from the back pipes up and he says, "Nakatra, it's it's got to be Nakatra. Nakatra are." Part human, part wolf. Yes, werewolf type creatures, um, but they are they are known to be savage. And what the hell would they be doing aboard this ship? I was about to say, how did they get on board a spaceship in the first place? Too savage to have the road. They're big savage. 
Let's get to the med bay. Do we take these guys with us? Can we? Yeah, we should them? do. Yeah. We Is we got possible? them this healthy. We can't. Yeah, we kind of have to like drag them the whole way. Okay, so are you are you just gonna help them to the med bay then? Yeah. Yep. Right. All right. Uh... Um, the guy, the ha guy that knows the hangar, the hangar guy, you'll know his way around the ship. So, can I ask him if he knows another way to the bridge? Um, he, he says, How many? "Yeah, there's me there's many ways to the ship to the bridge, but." They're all quiet. They're really far. We need to get to the med lab first. Okay. Get to the med lab. Tell us where we're going. Oh, the yellow, yellow line. Yeah, so we'll try and help him as much as we can. Hubble, hubble along, yeah. Okay. Give me a sec. You guys are really motoring through this. Uh, med lab, med lab, med lab. After a while, you reach. I mean, you you start seeing a couple of signs from med lab, uh, and eventually you arrive at the med lab, and it looks like, and it goes something like this. Oh, very nice. Oh, very up to date. <laughs> Shame. Ooh, very up to date. <laughs> <laughs> Top of the range. Uh, this med lab looks more like a trauma lab, so it looks like someone has already made changes to it. Um, you arrive there, and just as you step through the door, um, first of all, you find that this weird heat that's been following you around everywhere is, is lessened around here. Um, you can only assume it's radiation that is being shielded by something. Um, can I do you, another scan? You just no. find, yes, Sorry. you f you just find a scene of absolute carnage. There's no medics here at all. It's just survivors, uh, badly burnt, some of them dead, just either crawling on the floor or sitting limply uh, against the walls. However, you get plus four to Medicurgy in this room. Um, oh. You do find a large number of survivors in here that require in treatment. Can I have Anyone a look? That looks uh, oh. Oh, no, go. Sorry. I was going to say, can I have a look what supplies are in here to like help them? Or... Uh, is there like a first aid for dummies book or something like that? There's, <laughs> there's no first aid manuals here, um, but there are various medical equipment thingamajigs. You can only assume. Classic <laughs> medical thingamajigs. Along I mean, with she's, got, she's, what's it? she's got no medicurgy, so that's all they are is widgets, medical is there widgets. Any is there any bridge crew? Um, all you see here are people that are like mostly or half dead. Uh, all of them are wearing flight suits from different ships. It's not like higher up as some of them. Ship. Some of them are still in their uh, stasis underpants. Anyone in control? There is nobody in charge here. There's hardly anybody speaking here. Other than the occasional help, but well, can we have a look around to see if there's any more of them M doses? Because I'm sure we would recognise them. They're not just going to be thinking my jiggies, are they? Like opposite cabinets and uh, some cupboards and drawers and whatnot. Um, yeah, there's there's as you rifle through the cabinets, um, you do find what looks to be vials of the stuff that's in your uh, M-Dose Pre, prefab needles well, they're, they're, they're already there with needles or I need to find the no, needles they're, they're, in, they're in vials oh. 
Is there any needles? Uh, Can we miss the doses, or is there? Yeah, there's there's syringes, the syringes, uh, packs and packs of syringes. It's a well stocked med lab. Oh, lovely. Can I examine my dose? Because I've still got a couple left, and see what uh, milliliters or whatever's in it first. Uh, there should be plenty to go around here. There's, I mean, there's only. Oh, so I don't uh, overdose somebody. Just want to give them like a standard dose. All right. Um, it's assumed that you know what the dosage is. All right. Okay. Let's assume that then. Yeah. Just. There's, yeah. there's no manuals here, so don't overdose anyone. Who are you going to prioritize? The, the ones that look dead or the ones that are. Well, I'm barely, gonna barely ask, hanging on. ask everyone to to, to fan out and check for signs of life and start on the worst ones first, I guess. If they're breathing, but no, no okay. response, I guess. Yeah. So first of all, about two hours have passed. Oh wait, I forgot to knock some more off. Um, two hours have passed. Okay, so you're sorry, you're prioritizing who? Are they almost dead? Um, okay, um, you administer. Okay, so you administer the doses. Are you, are you giving it to... Well, everyone, I guess. Um, people begin to recover slowly. Two hours have passed. Uh, and in the meantime, okay, the guy so that you, you found so you originally has recovered considerably more. Okay. Uh, Is there anything... You administer... Yeah, okay, so you administer the doses. Are you, are you giving it to... Um, well, he everyone, says, sure, I'll, I'll uh, show you. People begin to recover slowly. Uh, can we also ask him? Oh, go on, Meg. I was just going to say, is there anything that could be weapons in this? Because I don't have a pipe or anything like that. I would like some uh, form of anti werewolf clobbering gear. That's supposed to be Meg. <laughs> okay. Anti werewolf? I mean, they're not werewolves, they're just. They're hybrids. Just some in case they attack me, you know, like a sleeping draft or, you know, is this an, any anesthetics. Yeah, that sort of shit. That's what I'm looking for. How <laughs> that can... That... Uh, he says... Long range blood, right? <laughs> he says, unfortunately, all weapons were have, have been locked away for everyone's safety. Where are they? On the bridge. Got the key? Is there not like a scalpel or out or something like that, maybe? That's a fair argument. Surely there's an in some sort of incision equipment. Plenty yeah, of scalpels sure. here, yeah. I mean, I not that you'd be able to jerry-rig that as some sort of dagger, though. Like, they are quite small. Well, I'm going to have a look for a sweeping brush and then pop it on the end. Yeah, I was thinking that. I'm going to add a, I'm yeah. gonna add a turner case to the end of my <clears> pipe. <throat> Scalpel. Two scalpels attached. You know, you the know same. the average scalpel's like an inch long, Meg. You aren't going to kill anyone by stabbing them or even slashing them with it, like. <laughs> no, but I know you're you like. I'm going to tape it to the end of a sweeping brush, like it's a huge knife. <laughs> They're still going to run away from it. Uh, yeah, yet. or hopefully create a slight distraction so I can run. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to get a couple of scalpels. Hopefully find a broom or a long stick and like use some bandage and tape and tape, you know, like create a long, long shank. Get some soaps, go score it in position. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I like how your shit keeps changing name. Uh... <laughs> what is it now? Loving it. Oh, yes, Babs. <laughs> Babs. <laughs> what are we now on? So you you want to make a, a knife, basically, right? Well, no, like a, a spear. Yeah. That kind of like a, a a spear with a scalpel. Well, not, not a spear, like a couple of scalpel, like a, a prong. You know, like if you were fishing and you had a long stick with sharp things on the end, and you like. 
jab it in the fish. Oh, no, got it. That, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm uh, I'm going to give you a knife. All right. <laughs> That'll do. <laughs> That's all I've got here. <laughs> uh, and we'll equip it. Oh, you're over-equipped. Which one are you going to... Oh, you're way over-equipped. I am. Yeah. You're gonna have to unequip something. You're ho you're basically hold carrying everything right now. Oh. Um. Just press the little shield next to whatever you want to unequip. Anybody else want to do anything? It's uh, uh, uh I mean, the, wanna... the med lab. The med lab is a little bit bigger than what is shown in this picture. There's quite a few rooms. Is there anything? Can we kind of a look round? Definitely, there's no bridge crew. There's no one that's gonna have a key to this. Locker, we're gonna have to get into. There's no fire extinguishers. That's, that's just us. The obvious. Uh, you find the story. You find the storage room uh, where all the equipment is, and the first thing you spot is a, is a med kit uh, and ten doses or ten M doses. We'll pick Someone that. pick that up. Aye. Yeah, I'll pick that up. You fucking pack me all. Pick it up yourself. You know what I mean, like. Someone pick that up. Got one. He's picking it up, Dill, are you? Yeah, I'll pick Dylan, it up. Dylan, Dill's got it. You pick it up, right, nice. Yeah, I can take orders from Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> and believe it or not, it's Shadia that's the commanding officer here. I was going to say, we should be taking orders from either. At this point, it's sort of a um, group, uh, group discussion. I'm going to leave my communication system in this med lab then, I think. Uh, in, uh, in a patient room, you find, other than a number of beds and people lying on the, lying on the beds, uh, you find a biomonitor. What's a biomonitor? Hey, it. it monitors your health. What heavy is that? Mm, it's light, according to this. <laughs> I'll take it. Do oh. things only encumber you if you've got them equipped? And you can carry anything in your inventory, it's only when you've got it equipped that you're um, it's the, the rules, I've not read them properly around that, but my understanding is... I think it's calculated the encumbrance wrong in this, but I need to, I need to work it out. Because it's not... It looks like you can have absolutely everything in your inventory, but if it's not equipped, it doesn't count. Do you have it with you? I can't like Guybrush three puts, just pulling it out yeah, of thin air. Like... That's what it looks like. Uh, so, Shadi has taken the bio monitor. That's done. Uh, you also find uh, Scooby Doo, another, like med Scooby -Doo. Kit, mm -hmm. uh, another med kit, another med kit, and another ten M doses. Can I take some M doses? Yep. Just change it in your inventory. Oh, do I need to add the press ten to my inventory? The what? Oh, do I need shit. to add the press ten to my inventory? You can just change the number of M doses you're carrying. I don't have. Can't because I'm at seven point five now. Ooh. Oh, let's see how many I can take. I don't have any M doses in my inventory, so I can add ten to it. All right, okay, five. Me... So I've took three out of that box then. I will do that for you. If anybody else wants to pick some up. Yeah, Seven. I'll take some. I can carry. I'm not over encumbered at any point. Thank you. Are you taking you... the med kit as well, Sean, yeah? You need med kit in order to administer the M doses, don't you? Do you need both? Oh, yeah, I've got... Mm, yeah. I mean, I've already got an M kit, but once that was used, was that it, Peter, or...? Mm-hmm. Okay, then I'll take another med kit. It's not just like a first aid box that you can top back up. A couple of plasters and a bit of eye wash. <laughs> Don't forget the paracetamol. Well, you're not allowed that in uh, first aid kit. Is it a bit no, of eye wash? No, you can't first aid kit. <laughs> yeah. eye wash, in case you get shit in your eye. I've I've had eye wash. I got acid in my eye once. Oh, mild acid, like hydrochloric acid, which is really really mild, but 
Yeah, they fucking washed my eye out like shit, and it was really uncomfortable. I remember that, that was shit. <laughs> fucking shit, mate, innit? Right, okay, <laughs> sorry, what are, you, what are you doing? Is there any screens in here? <clears throat> Loads of screens. Uh, the AI? Uh, yeah. These screens seem to be working. Are you calling up the AI? No, well, I don't know. Do the... I mean, he feels like he's fucking less than useless right now. I'll be honest. Yeah. He's better than nothing. Is he, though? Um, can I... I want to ask the... Sorry. Go on, no, you go on. I want to no, ask you the hang up. If there's something wrong with the propulsion system, it's offline, yes, but is, is, do we need to be more concerned than that? Well, can you not just re restart it or something? That's what they're doing, in, like restart systems or something. So are you calling up the AI? Yeah. Yeah. Turn okay. it off and back on again. <laughs> yeah. But, there you go, Meg knows how to work in IT. <laughs> Fucking hell, it was, that, it was that easy and none of us just went... Do you know what? Just switch it back on. <laughs> well, depending Cheers. on how much critical success we get, we could just do that. If we all roll like six, six sixes, it's like, oh, okay, turn it back on. Let's reboot it. Uh, by the way, here's a picture <clears throat> of the Ghazali. Ooh, Is it in spicy. Discord or in... It's, it's in... Uh, it might take a couple of seconds. To... Yeah, oh, yeah. They're nice. Are it's you, no um, SS sugary nips, but you know. <laughs> uh, status report. Okay, so you, you put your hand on the screen and uh, the Suleiman appears and it says, Hello, I am Suleiman. How can I help? Um, can I ask Suleiman about the rumbling I'm feeling from the engine? If he knows what it is. Uh, he says, those are gravitational uh, distortions caused by the, uh -huh. uh, by, by the star. Uh, they are tearing the ship apart. I see. Uh, how long have we got until we can't get propulsion system back online to move the ship. Yeah, how long before we hit the star? 18 hours a day. We know it's like, said 18 not, hours, but a couple of hours have already gone by, so we're like, what? Yeah, how long do we have 15, for the 16 hours? We haven't got too long. Uh, he says, um, time until <laughs> D-Zone, approximately 13 hours. Ooh, we don't have long. Can we get him to do a shout-out? <laughs> Uh, to any engineers that might be like, if they can let him know, tell us where he, they are. If only you had an engineer on your very own crew, Meg. <laughs> oh shit! Are you an engineer? Why are you not? Why are you not sorting the steering out then? Because we aren't in the fucking engine room to fix anything. Hey, let's get to split up. Let's get to our weapons and then get to the engine room. Jesus right, Christ! Right, let's split up then. Who's coming with me to the engine room? <laughs> Are you splitting oh, up? Yeah, I'll go with you, Craig. <laughs> oh no, he, he he, how many people have pipes? How many pipes do we have? Pipes. Let's get let's go to the bridge. It's right here, right next to the med bay of the bridge. It's not an hour away, is it? Oh, let's let's just nip to the med bay. Yeah. yeah. We... Oh, oh no, we're already the at the med bay. But it's if we get bridge. let's get the let's get to the bridge and then we can make a plan from there because it's not far, like Sarah said. Yeah, let's get some then, fucking weapons first. If we're almost there, then let's go for it. The is there is How there's gonna... space werewolves on here, but you know. Yeah. yeah. Um, Welcome. Can I, before we move on, can I ask Suleiman um, if all life forms on for, on board are humanoid? Are, are human, not humanoid. Um, <clears throat> he says. Unfortunately, due to the age of the Ghazali, the original uh, sensors uh, 
are still in place and they only detect a heartbeat. Surely a big werewolf would have a slower heartbeat than a small human. Unfortunately, the sensors are not equipped with um, distinguishing circuits. <laughs> okay. Nice. Are there any heartbeats on the bridge? The answer is fucking no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm asking. Bloody useless, Solomon. He's shit, isn't he? He's, he is the worst AI I've ever heard of. Even Holly's better than this. <laughs> <laughs> Little red dwarf reference for those of us at an age. Yeah. Uh, he says there are currently no life signs on the bridge. Then let's go and get our shit and let's do it. merc before, things. Before we leave the med bay, though, can I, the guy that's recovered the most, what, can I leave him with the. He's taking valve. us there. He's showing us the way to the well, we, is it not a light? Can we not get what's his name to light it up again? Solomon. We need to leave someone in charge of like if. Oh, oh, you mean you mean the the light strips? Um, uh, Solomon oh, lights the fine. Solomon lights the way to the bridge for you. That's about all he does. That's useful. You that's switch all, lights yeah, on. He's a, he's a light switch. You're the worst AI in existence. Oh, don't let him hear you. He might he might not like us. <clears throat> yeah, I, I'd like to leave what's he. Cold with instructions, the the guy that we found that's looking good with instructions and the vowels of uh, that stuff for anybody else that shows up at the med bay. Uh, you're saying this to the, the, the first guy? Yeah, what, uh, what's his name? Uh, who's, uh, who's, who's, well, you never asked. Oh, um, sorry, what's your name? No one cares. He's alive. <laughs> name. We, we did what we should be doing. Name I've got person. so many windows open. Hold on. <laughs> Person of no consequence, what is your name? <laughs> Does he have any distinguishing um, features? He's burnt to shit. We'll call him Burn Boy. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Wow! You got Jeez. Burn Boy. Moving on. Hand him over the stuff. Just like 50. 50. Go up to 50. Inject him. All's good. Okay. And then walk out. <laughs> no messy. <laughs> Uh, his name is Lahore. Yeah, Lahore. There you go. Nice. That's better. <laughs> you skip name there, you, then. Why are you laughing? Um. Uh, okay. So. Okay. All right. So he says, "Uh, what? You, you're you're leaving us." We have to. We, we to have to find a way to get the potions. And, and then what? Are you you going to come back for us, right? Yeah. For sure, he says in his best um, Snoop voice. Just keep the door locked. We'll give you a give me a manipulation door. roll, Craig. Craig. <laughs> okay. Craig. Don't do that, Peter. Or I shall <laughs> put thy name in the I'm same manner. Uh, manipulation. Sorry, I got a zero. I can't give you a manipulation roll. But it's not an advanced skill. Uh, oh, you were scumming me, Peter. Doesn't he get a plus one modifier because he's with a group, group larger than one person? Correct! Fucking well done for reading the roll, rules. Rolls? <laughs> that that doesn't sound like correct. a rule to me. No, it genuinely is a thing. If you outnumber yeah. your opponent, you get a plus one modifier. All right. it, it, I read that in the rule. There's, and if what there's, you're a, asking there's about four isn't... or five different things yeah. as well. It's not unreasonable. You get a plus one modifier and so on. If you have good standing, you get a plus one modifier. Sounds like a plus three to me. It does to me too. Peter's thinking about it. I'll let him have a minute. Okay, the rules is rules. <laughs> we Peter, that like the rules here. Here. I am a generous god. I do not require you to stand, only that you kneel before me. Ah, <laughs> oh, still failed. Oh, it's... One, one to success! You what? One, one not one success? To... No, no, neither of them succeed. It says right here, failure. No, but failure. is a one not a success? Did you not say sixes and ones are successes? No. Sixes are successes. Oh, I thought you said one was as well, sorry. No. Push! Push! 
What were you Don't take your guard. Anyway. Sorry, you were you were encouraging me to push. That's a good idea. I'm gonna push. No, we're about to go into combat. You don't even. Oh, oh my God! No, it's gone even worse. I've got ten points. Um, I think this is just a game for Peter at this point. Uh, he yeah. turns to he turns to everybody else and he says, "Hey, hey, th they're gonna they're gonna leave us here." But luckily for you, most of them are completely out of it. Uh, some of them are looking quite concerned, and a, a few of them start crying. I'll say Why yes. Why are you just crying him. for? Crying. I'm trying to I'll, soothe I'll, him. I'll, I'll, I'll calm the situation. <laughs> yes, we're leaving you in the <laughs> mid bay because we don't know what's out there. We need to get the propulsion systems back on before we even think about moving. But otherwise, we're going to die. <laughs> now they're totally panicked, but they can't move anyway. So we should just. Well, leave. They, listen. They had radiation poisoning. At that point, they thought, they probably thought they were fucked. Yeah. Um, and I'll, I'll, I'll shout out, does anyone here know how to get the propulsion systems back online and the steering? Do you get nothing back? They're in a much better so let's position leave. When, when we found them, so they should help us. True. Um... But a woman dressed a woman dressed in really fine robes uh sits up and says calm down calm down they saved us surely they'll be back and she she looks to you hopefully but doesn't actually ask you the question outright and uh the guy just the the the, the first guy just looks at you like he's, he's quite angry but also it kind of makes sense so uh, he you just goes, ah, and just leaves the room. I'll ask him, well, you come with us then. He says, I have to stay here to help these people. Then what, and then I'll say, well, what are you bitching about then? We, we're going out there where there's a bloody, you know, monster on board. What, what are you shouting at me? I'm suffering from radiation poisoning. <laughs> <laughs> just leave. Oh, Lock the door. We'll be back. Move on. Okay. Uh, all right, let's put Suleiman away, Joseph Mendy away, Medlab away. Do do do. So you're heading to the bridge, right? So the Suleiman has lit lit up the the floor for you. Um, am I right saying that you're all heading for the bridge? You've got all your stuff. Yep. Okay. Uh, it's it is a relatively short walk. Um. You reach the door to the bridge, and it is locked. Is there not a keypad? Can we try and... There is a keypad. Uh, the keypad's set into the wall, and it looks like a really serious keypad. It's not like a, a flimsy... <clears throat> it's not some flimsy, you know, installed can by Chubb. Use... Can we use our pipes to try and force the door open? Behave, behave. We aren't barbarians. I can work this out. How do you work it out? I go into my portable laboratory and I get an aerosol spray out and I spray the pad to reveal fingerprints on the most used <laughs> keys and then I try and use that to work out the combination of keys that are most commonly pressed. That's a, that's a genuine way people unlock keypads. Dun, 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 I'm not a master dun, criminal, but dun, you know, dun. I'm I'm trying. You're trying to be a master criminal. I'm <laughs> trying to work our way out of here. Shut the fuck up, Dylan. <laughs> Whose side are you on? Uh, okay, let's have um. What Pack roll down, that please. Be? I think that is using my noodle to get me an answer, so I think that's just a flat out Just wits. wits. Okay. I'll let you have observation. Oh, oh fuck you and the you horse you run down. I'm going to... Come on. There we go. I pushed it. There you go. Okay. You begin typing numbers, uh, and there's three lights at the top of the keypad, and every time you press enter, one of the lights goes out. Oh, fuck, I've got limited tries. 
And uh, two. You try a second time, and the light goes out. Let me spend some DP points here. Fuck you! Fuck you and your DP I mean, points! These are truth seekers here as well. Would, that you be, would this be a point to use truth seekers to get to find important information? Has someone like scantily written the uh, code somewhere just so they can remember it, like under the doormat? Ah, oh, I need the toilet again. Too much alcohol. Be right back. <laughs> I'm, I'm still right. listening though, so continue to describe. Be right back. Yeah, I'll describe things while you're peeing. Yes, I will put it on mute though. I'm, Thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm courteous, if nothing else. Okay. You can hear the door though. <laughs> as long as it's not the pee. I've done that before. That's not good. I did that in a meeting once. It was embarrassing. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> what did they say, Sarah? Are you, uh, are you peeing right now? <laughs> One of our project managers took <laughs> a <laughs> shit on a meeting and he accidentally. Oh. That's I think we should we, we should potentially consider using um our truth seekers group talent here. We got a truth seekers group talent. Yeah, so you can find important information or get a clue from the GM. Let's do that then. We can Is use that what that you want to do? Once per session, yeah. 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 Yep. We need to be using these like per session things in the next four minutes, at least. Yeah. Yeah. Just in case. Let's use it. <laughs> So I think I think we find that someone's written the code down underneath the doormat. Yep. Are you using your truth seeker? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Get that dark point in. Um getting through this bulkhead door is not possible with the tools that you've got on board and with you. The only way that you can get into that bridge is a spacewalk. <gasps> oh, it's got an exoskeleton suit. I can tell you yeah. the exoskeleton yeah. suit will help you. Will it? Is it like I've, got, yep. I've got a hand jet. Yeah, it says. Uh, hand gel. Hand jet. Oh, so I can it? use All it right. in zero G. It it says something. The vacuum. So some a bit of vacuum. I've got like a drone. Fly out. Is it is it just observation or does it have like a claw that can press buttons? Uh, I presume we could bump it the in. The claw. Too. Forwards and backwards, bump it in. Could it could it open the door from the other side? Because that's what we need to do, isn't it? Flat heads and tax discs. <laughs> you what? What are you saying? Just the latest ship name. Oh god, what is it now? <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Whoever it is doing that, keep doing it. <laughs> I think everyone's taking turns. I put the light like to Put like Tata, but that takes the as you takes the tax disc. As you stand there, trying to figure out what's going on with this keypad, you hear a snarling sound behind you. Oh, shit. As you all turn and see this dude in Discord. Standard and, werewolf. And we will end the session there. Oh no! Oh. I think Peter, I would like to change some of my stats. Yeah, I would. <laughs> not time. Funny. Isn't that funny how that pans out? <laughs> the time that we spent in the med centre, I think I've earned it. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, we we're done with the med centre now, right? Well, you don't know. You don't. Know. What? How are you going to rescue the people? You're going to rescue the people, right? We're not. Maybe. <laughs> Peter, <Yeah>. right? <laughs> that meme, that Anakin meme. <laughs> right. That thing, right? Right. Huge mommy milkers. <laughs> we put we put huge mommy milkers. Craig's the only one I can see typing, so it's Craig. I'm not typing. I've got my phone in my hand. All oh, right. Also, oh, you're not paying attention then. Uh, I am. Do we get extra <laughs> points? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> oh, we need to do XP. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Oh yeah. I would have reminded you. We get extra points, Peter, as well. Can we get extra? That's what I'm for. That's for what I'm playing the game. Yeah. And skill points. That's what XP stands for. This search fucking thing is useless. Let me um. XP give you extra points. Extra points. skills. Spend my points on stuff. Just, just stuff. Yeah. I'd like to spend my points on generic <laughs> stuff, please. How does it not give you a little description about what each one does? That would help a lot. That's gonna be Craig who's tapped that, that one in. Which one? <laughs> yes. I reckon. Why is it me? It's just acting all innocent. <laughs> I'll give you a hint. It wasn't him. More, more <laughs> boards. <laughs> Who more wow. boards? Every, your motor boat. Oh, I would have thought that. What water board? What <laughs> motor board in a motor boat in are two very different pastimes? I'll tell you that. Listen, listen. <laughs> Someone may have said a lot about that. <laughs> 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 Oh, Wash no, your hands, you that. dirty pig. <laughs> I remember what I was going to call it. Fuck you, Tony. Uh... <laughs> there we go, I fixed it. There we go, well, that's better, that's better. That's better, now write it 100 times. <laughs> <laughs> Right, how do we do the XP? Uh, I need to ask you a number of questions. And you have to answer Trust truthfully. Me, this is definitely built off the same system that uh, Monster yep. of the Week uses. At the end of the session, you go, I have a number of questions. Did you achieve this? Did you do yep. this? Do yep. you feel like you did these things? Yeah. Why, yep. why is it like an interview at the end of the session? It, uh, it is, is but it, 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 it's about leveling your character up and stuff. So let's just accept it and take the interview. It's not an interview as such. Well, it is a bit. Let's yeah. find the fucking search function on that. Right, okay. XP. Search. Uh. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I'll have a P if you need one. I need to find the thing. Come on, dudes, just fucking just tell me where it is. What time is it there, Shadia? Uh, it's one o'clock in the afternoon, and I'm. If just anything, waiting. it just gets better for shards and worse for us the longer the game goes on. Yeah, it on, does. So. It does. See, I can drink more, and it's fine. <clears throat> now I'm in. A one o'clock in the afternoon. You've now reached a point where it's a bit more acceptable to be boozing. You know, like <laughs> ten o'clock in the morning, less. You know, a little bit less so much. Yeah, but when you're on holiday, it doesn't matter. It's like, oh, I'll drink it. Six I mean, I'll be honest, you're there for like four months. It doesn't really count as a holiday at that point. <laughs> no, it does. It's just an it extended. Really it's a working holiday. <laughs> a working holiday. Yeah. 